Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. Today I have another Divi tutorial for the menu. So this tutorial is basically just allowing you to open up your hamburger icon, basically remove the hamburger icon on the menu and show the actual menu items like on a mobile device or tablet device. Otherwise, it would just default and shrink to the hamburger menu and you might not like that. And a lot of times, maybe you only have one or two or three items um, and you just want it to stay open all the time. I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's actually pretty quick and simple. And I think this is very useful. I actually use it all the time. So I think you will too. So this is actually something I use on almost every site that I make. And I actually have it on probably all, if or at least most of the child themes that I make. And what I mean is in the footer, a lot of times I'll have like a menu or multiple menus. One of the menus might be like a legal menu, right? Where it says like the terms and conditions and privacy policy or something. And then I'll have another menu where it might have links to, you know, my account page or, or whatever, other, other links on the site. And what happens is when you go on mobile and look at that, it looks really bad. There's hamburger menus everywhere. <laughs> Uh, and that's just not very nice looking. So what we're gonna do is target just one of them and then have that hamburger menu basically not be there at all. It'll be open, you'll see the links instead of that. And by the way, I have the opposite one here linked um, to show a hamburger menu on desktop. But anyway, it's a side note. So basically what we're gonna do is add a class to the module. And I have a, a module set up here. This is just a menu module. Um, and we need to add a class there because like I was saying, a lot of times you might have more than one menu, especially if you have the menu module in your header or even a couple in your header and then you have maybe a couple in your footer. Um, you want to make sure that you're targeting just one. And we're doing that with adding a custom class. So I just made one up here, um, PA open mobile menu. In fact, I should have done it differently so that the period's not at the end there. but. So just copy that or you can memorize it and go over to your menu module that you want to stay open. Here, let me just show you really quick. Obviously, you know what this looks like, but um, there it is. There's the menu um, hamburger icon. In fact, what I'll do is I'll actually um, work here in mobile so you can see it live. So there I'm just pasting it in there. Um, opened up the menu settings, went to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes, and then CSS class input field. So we pasted that there. So now come on back here and you'll see that I have a snippet of code here. And I'll show you what this does. So basically you need to copy this and put it into your, either your child theme or you could put it in your um, Divi theme options if that's if, if you don't have a child theme. So first of all, we have the code wrapped in a media query. So basically we're saying that this code only applies at screens that are smaller than 980 pixels and that would be tablet and phone sizes. And then inside there is two uh, two different things. And the first one is um, targeting the, the, the menu and it's, it's kind of awkward menu underscore underscore menu. That's the, that's the desktop menu, okay? That's the main class for the desktop menu. So what we're doing is instead we're saying display flex and what we're doing that because by default it would be display none. So this would be display none normally and we're saying no, no, we don't want it to display none. We want it to display flex. We want it to display, right? So we're telling it to display rather than not display. The opposite is true over here for the second one. Now this is targeting ET mobile nav menu and that's the, the mobile menu, right? Now normally that will be showing. In other words, that might be showing display block or flex, I forget what it is. But we're saying, no, no, we wanna display none. So we wanna show one and not the other. So hopefully that makes sense. So just copy the code and we're gonna just go over to our example website here that we're working in and I'm gonna paste it into my my page settings just so you can see it live. Um, obviously, like I said, put it in the child theme or theme options, but I'm gonna put it in the page settings here for you so you can see it happen in real time. And there you go. I've opened up the hamburger menu, it went away. The hamburger 
menu, the entire mobile menu displayed none, and the desktop menu displayed. So that's what's happening there. That's how it works, and that's how easy it is. So why don't I go ahead and show you a couple examples. I said I had it on a lot of my uh, Divi child themes. All right, so here's one, um, my construction theme. Uh, scroll down here to the footer. So right here you can see that this is actually a menu. So it's just two items in it, but it, it's still a menu. Um, and what happens is, you know, I have these menus here, right? And there, there's going to be too many otherwise on mobile if I didn't do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I'm actually doing it to a bunch of these. All right, so here are the links. Now these all have my menu open. Uh, I'm actually applying it to I mean, these are all menus, the services menu, and then the about menu, and then the contact menu. Those are all being open. Otherwise, there'd be a hamburger menu, hamburger menu, hamburger menu. And then down here, the privacy policy and terms and condition, that would be another hamburger menu. And that would be, that would be terrible. Um, so yeah, we're using this same system. And hopefully that's a good example of how you can use it. And like I said, if you're curious about the opposite thing, uh, we do have that as well. You can uh, show a hamburger menu on desktop. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this. Um, I find this very useful. This is one of those that it may be small. The snippet may be small, but um, the what I get out of it is big. I, I find this extremely valuable and helpful. I use it on every site. All right, so there you go. That's how you show the menu module with, you know, without the hamburger icon, having it open instead. All right, well, I hope that you enjoy our tutorials. Um, we have hundreds of them, if you didn't know, um, and a lot, a lot on the menu as well. So be sure to check them out, and we'll see you guys in the next video.